हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सॉम मै वेलकम बैक टू माई पेज टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट टू दिस नाइन्टी डेज अल्टीमेट हेल्थ गाइड प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव बीन रिसीविंग सच गुड मैसेजेस कॉमेंट्स दैट यू हैव हैव बीन लविंग इट एंड टूडे दैट्स वाई एम अप विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो थिंग्स दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग पास सिंस टेन ईयर्स दैट हैज हेल्प मी गेट बेटर विद माई हेल्थ अदर देन एक्सरसाइज और जस्ट द मील प्लान्स The important part here is some little changes that I have made in my life, some additions, some subtractions that has actually made an impact. Like this one, I have started drinking water in morning. I always used to just grab my early morning drink that used to have jeera water, cumin seeds, and everything. But before that, nowadays I start my day with a glass of water that makes me feel refreshed. Also helps my kidney flush out toxins. Second thing that I've been doing is journaling. Now you all must be wondering how journaling can help you make your health better. It actually does. It makes your day productive and time management is crucial for you to take out that time for yourself. So yes, journaling plays a very important role. Third is my R5 W20 rule. If you don't know about this, you can check out my previous videos as as well about it. It is to rest after every 20 minutes of long hour of sitting, whether you're doing your calls, your work, anything, study. Make sure that you take at least five minutes of rest if after every 20 minutes. Next important thing that I have been doing is reading. I have been reading a lot and lot and lot, and especially about our body, how it works, how we. eat and how it gets processed so that is something that i really find interesting and helps me grow every day next thing that i have been doing is meditation again this is each to its own not everybody is there out uh, on a journey of self discovery that is okay i do it for calmness peace and make my day look very happy and positive Next thing that I have been doing is using my legs more often. As you know that it's important for you to stay active in order to be fit for a longer run. And research has shown that if you're moving more, if you have just increased like 3 to 4000 steps more than you what you have been doing, you can reduce the percentage of having heart attack by at least 20 to 30%. So yes, that is something that we all should be doing moving ourselves more and more throughout the day with different kinds of activity. I like cycling a lot. I walk a lot. I run a lot and all of these things actually make you feel more active, energized and you don't get on to that loop that exists when you start becoming lazy, which is very sad because our body needs energy. from the actions that we do and once we get into that loop where you become lazy then you put on weight then you become more lazy and then you put on more weight and then this becomes a very vicious cycle so instead of that when you keep yourself active keep yourself moving in whichever way possible going out open um, enjoying the nature walk which is again one of my favorite thing to do this plays a very very crucial role in navigating my health in a good and a better place so i would always recommend this that walk more and more next point as i mentioned in my previous point as well is to walk out in nature when you walk under the sun when you take the oxygen from the plant it is altogether different energy and when there is a different energy you get the results much better much easier and everything becomes very easy Next important point is back walking. I don't know if you know this but the many research have shown that back walking not only improves your concentration but is very good way to improve your cognitive skills. It is something that I have been adding in my routine quite often now and I can definitely see the attention span has increased much more. The concentration is getting better. Grounding is again one of the those techniques that help you get connected to the ground and that therapy actually helps in better metabolism, better blood flow next up is very important point is food sequencing if you want to get better with the energy levels throughout the day start your day with a fat first approach incorporating good amount of nuts in the beginning of the day always helps to start your day right next point is the fiber boost we should all know that our bacteria who live inside our gut are important to maintain that digestive system as it's working right and they need to be fed with good amount of fiber so whenever you are eating high protein meal or high carbohydrate meal when you add 
good amount of fiber to it it actually helps your gut bacteria feed well and at the very same time they work well in that case so yes this was one of my uh, salad recipe that help you boost the fiber intake so add this into your weekly routine next up is the antioxidant boost now we all need antioxidants in one way or the other to protect our skin to protect our immunity so incorporating good amount of antioxidants in your diet gives you good amount of vitamins and minerals that helps your immunity helps your skin helps you build that energy absorption of other vitamins and minerals also next important thing uh, that i have been doing and i'm ensure that i take this vitamin d from sun directly at least 15 to 20 minutes a day this is a very important thing that we should all be doing because we live in close vicinities all the time we don't get that much of time to go under the sun and capture and gather our vitamin d from it so when we go and get ourselves tested we find ki we are all deficient in vitamin d and vitamin d deficiency is quite common nowadays so it's important for all of us to go out in open and enjoy the sunlight for at least 15 to 20 minutes next important thing and i think it's not that common and i also can't do it every day but should be a part of our routine that is back to the roots understanding how is a plant grown okay what is organic farming what is farming when you get into the detail of where your food comes from it is much easier for you to understand what carbohydrates are what protein is how a plant is grown what roots are meant for what is seed everything becomes much clear so i went to a organic farm uh, last year and i can tell you that experience was altogether life changing i have started looking food in a very different perspective and light i always see a uh, food as the outcome as what we see that is ultra processed way of looking at food but when you go and see how the plants are harvested what you eat how it actually comes from your oats your uh, hibiscus or your green tea everything whatever you eat and when you see the end product where it is actually coming from so when you go there on farm enjoy that time understanding these plants these seeds when you look into these aspects of food as well you get closer to food and that relationship with food is built so beautifully so i will urge everybody to visit any farm not just organic farm any farm you can go and must visit it it will actually build a very beautiful relationship with food now this activity is something that i have been doing regularly that is walking while i talk on my phone it actually serves a lot of purpose it utilizes my time well and also it helps me boost my active to passive ratio and my need so it helps in metabolism no one will ever imagine that when you are walking and you are using your walking time in doing a phone call or finishing up your work it actually makes huge difference with just this small habit uh, that you've started and made for yourself that i'll not just sit while i'm talking i'll walk i'll take that initiative to walk and that makes a huge difference last but not the least you have to spend some time with yourself that oh not only broadens your vision it gives you time to think about yourself about your life your goals your your dreams and you are help you build that perspective that you actually need in life so yes solitude living by yourself always helps try it and yes these were 16 things that i have been doing for my health other than just the exercise and meal planning and i believe that everybody should give it a try just few of these things can make a huge huge difference